Welcome back. So today we're going to be taking a look at the StarMade uplink. So by going on to the StarMade official website, you can go on to StarMade.org or star-made.org. And um, what you're going to do is you're going to go over to community and you want to register an account. So I can just click login, but there is a register if you don't have a login. OK, uh, once you've actually registered, you will have a username and a password. All right. And that's going to give you uh, the ability to use the uplink. Many servers use that to protect usernames. Obviously, they don't want you logging in as someone else who is an admin or something. So they use this uplink system. So. Um, the way it works is when you're in the actual launcher, you click uplink to StarMade and you type your username and password and then click save when it's on your machine. OK, um, and what that'll do is it'll mean that it'll log you in as the same ID that you use on the official forums. OK, so that way the server knows that you actually actually are who you are. Um, you do have protected names system in place, which means that you can actually use up to 10 different names by default on a multiplayer server. So you can change this, but using the same uplink details and provided that you are whitelisted, if they are using a whitelist on that server, you'll be able to still uh, log in using the authentication on this account. So you are not stuck to this name and you don't have to register multiple forum accounts. You can use this one for multiple aliases, your in-game name. OK, um, so that covers the uplink. There's going to be another tutorial coming up next on settings, which is what we're moving on to next. And there's probably a few more links to other things that people wanted.